Greetings guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to Botany Snippets. My name is Kate, and today we're asking, what even is loam? So, you might have heard the term loamy soils. Now, that is a reference to a highly rich type of soil that is often very beneficial for the continued growth or establishment of plants. You might, however, not know the composition. So we'll go through that and what it actually means today. So from a geological perspective, it's a soil that is about equal parts sand, salt, and clay. Now, clay as you might have figured, is fairly dense, and while it does have a lot of nutrients in it, it is also rather difficult for plants to break through with the root systems most of the time. There are some species that that is their ideal habitat, but for most it doesn't quite work so well. Sand is really good for drainage, which is why the cacti that we talked about last week do well in sandy soils. Because it kind of wicks away the moisture from the plant and lets it just kind of drain out as needed. Now, salt is probably most well known as the nutrient-rich not runoff, but the, the tiny microparticles in like a riverbed, for example. All the minerals that have been uh, ground down and pummeled over centuries or millennia by the water. And that all combines to something that has really good drainage, a lot of nutrients, and a high mineral content. Now, from a botanical perspective, it, it is also that combination plus humus. So humus is like the leaf litter on the forest floor, kind of. It's, it's all the decomposing or decomposed organic matter that is comprised of uh, insects and leaves and any grasses that are there. Basically anything that is generally forest dwelling that has died and decayed in the leaf litter compost, if you will. It's the leaf litter layer of a forest is basically that region's compost sector. It's, it behaves the same way that a compost bin would operate, so the bottom layers get really hot, which incidentally is also why a lot of reptiles lay their eggs in leaf piles, because it's a natural incubator. Apparently loam is also a term used to describe the clay, sand, water, straw combination that's used to plaster walls or make bricks sometimes, which I did not know, but that's a random factoid of the day. And apparently the ideal combination is a 40-40-20 split between sand, silt, and clay, which makes sense because clay is like, for all that it has good properties, it's really dense, so you don't want as much of that in a regular soil mix. So it would be 40% sand, 40% soil, and 20% clay to do the 100% combination of that. Um, but you also want to add some humus or general compost, compost, depending on how you say it to the combination if you're growing things. And just to reiterate, loam is good for the plants because it's 
got really good drainage because of the sand, but it also retains water enough that it's not just going to drain out because it has the clay compounds. So it's got really good drainage, it's highly nutritious, and retains enough water for the plant to do well. You just have to pair that combination with a plant that does well in that kind of environment. Because if you tried to put a cactus in that, it probably wouldn't do so well. Just because it would need more of the sand and stuff. It could still work, but you know, you have to up the drainage. So, there's that. Um, that's all for today. I will see you back here tomorrow. Have a good one. And, oh, yeah. End cards and stuff. Uh, so, end cards and whatnot. The last video is up here. The video that YouTube thinks you might like is over here. My second channel, where I do basically anything that's not plants, uh, is over here. And the link to my main channel page is over here. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button down below and the bell icon next to it so you're actually notified when I upload something. And I will see you next time. See you later.